What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So if you can already tell by the thumbnail, I give this BGA56 a big thumbs down. Um, I just don't like it. If you'd like to see what I have to say about it, well then I guess you have to stay tuned. Alright guys, so if you've been following the channel for a while, you know that I'm a gas powered guy. I like my two stroke engines. I really have never invested in battery powered stuff. Um, Aaron and I, a buddy from West Virginia, he has the Milwaukee uh, Gen 1 blower that I really, really like. It is definitely an option that would be awesome, but I have no use for it. So I have a gas powered uh, BG56. Um, and I really like the gas powered blower because I think that it is definitely superior. Um, it has a lot more force. Um, so I would be reluctant to spend my money on one of these battery powered stills. So I borrowed one to make sure that, you know, I either like it or I don't. So I'm glad that I borrowed it and didn't spend any money on it. And that's why I'm making the video for you today. I would totally not invest my money in this BGA 56. Um, there is a bigger model, I'll roll it in here, that you can buy. And I think that it does have some bigger ho or horsepower numbers uh, or miles per hour uh, ratings on it that make it a little better. Um, as far as this goes, it doesn't blow. Um, it really is not powerful. It's not as good as I thought it was going to be. Um, for sure, definitely not going to spend my money on it. I would definitely steer you towards a Milwaukee M18 blower. Um, now they have a Gen 2. It's doing a lot better. Um, I'm going to roll in the price for this right here. Uh, at the price point, you're definitely not going to, uh, you know, get your money's worth. Uh, I really don't care about runtime. A battery is a battery. It's going to last you. If you're looking at a battery powered implement, um, you already have a, uh, you know, a situation where a battery is going to be useful. If you have a bigger property and stuff like that, I'm always going to push you towards gas. Yeah, you can throw another battery pack in your pocket, but these batteries are expensive. So when you're talking about the um, 108 watt hour batteries, these big brick batteries, um, they're very expensive. And to have you know one, uh, two batteries and one charger becomes inconvenient if you have to charge two. So th it just doesn't make sense for me. So it, it's a big fail on this BGA 26. I'm gonna roll in some footage of me running the blowers side by side um, and you really can't, I'm gonna, I'll show you that, you know, the BGA 20, uh, 56 does not blow rocks. You have to be really, really close to uh, blow little pebbles off the concrete um, when the BGA 56 comes right in and just swaths them away. So uh, it's definitely not something that I am going to recommend. Um, let's get down to a little bit about the blower. Uh, another feature that I hate about it is why does it have such a crazy safety? So I'm going to roll in a, a picture or a, a video of me uh, manipulate the safeties. I don't know why you have to rock your thumb forward, then press the back butt or the uh, back strap and then grab the trigger. Like it's a battery powered blower. Why do I need so many safeties? It should literally just have a trigger, but I have no idea why they had the regulation on it. Um, the gas powered uh, blower does not have any safeties. It just has a trigger. Their chainsaw just has a little button and on the side that you depress with your thumb and then you can pull the trigger. So why in the heck does this have one, two, and technically trigger finger safety on this? So, it, you know, it, it's just one that I'm just not excited about and I really didn't want to bring a big old thumbs down video for this, but um, it is what it is. This thing is definitely not worth the money. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little review that I have for you. Um, I'm not really worried about runtime and all that stuff. It's just not something I'm interested in. Uh, the bigger blower is something that I'd be willing to test in the future uh, and, and, you know, but 
All in all, I'm still gas powered, dude. I still want to smell that two stroke burning when I am out there, whether it's a two minute job or a 30 minute job, I want the gas powered power um, to come through. So I'm glad I just borrowed this and I didn't purchase this because I would have been highly disappointed. So I hope that that helped you guys out. If, it, uh, if you have any questions, concerns, you wanna argue with me in the comments, put them down below, we'll have a conversation about it. As always, if you're one of my subscribers, which I bet you aren't because 99.4% of you guys aren't subscribed, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into, and I guess we'll see you guys in the next video.